What is going on YouTube? Today I wanted to actually show you the gear that I use and take you around with me to a photo shoot but it's been raining for the past two weeks. I don't know if you can see this. It's pretty cloudy and this is the Camaro. This is what we wanted to shoot. You know with everything happening around AI, chat GPT, I think it's just about time that we utilize this and see how we can use it to our benefit. But before doing so, and this is something that I'm going to continue doing in my upcoming videos, is shed some light and give a bit of exposure to upcoming photographers and other photographers that are worth mentioning. I'm going to mention one or two photographers per video, so keep looking, you could be next. All right, so before we start, the photographer of the week is Charlie B. Absolutely love your work, buddy. The latest sets that I've been looking at, they are so nice that I thought they were uh, Mark Scene Media's shots. You have achieved similar styles in multiple occasions and absolutely loving your gorgeous work, man. Absolutely great. Absolutely. So everyone, go ahead and follow Charlie B and stay tuned, you could be next. All right, so first thing first, in order to use Mid Journey, you'll need a Discord account because it's only going to work in Discord. So go ahead and register that first if you don't have one already. Okay, so once you have the account ready, you can download the app or you can use the uh, browser version. I prefer the desktop version. Honestly, the app is very convenient. Now you're gonna go to Mid Journey and you're gonna click on Join Beta. And it's going to open in the, in the app or in the browser, whatever you're using. And I'm going to say Join. And now I am in. Great. Now, the next thing you wanna do is add the bot to your server. And the way to do so is to click on the bot and say add to server. Select your server. That's my server. Add the grid is for my experiments. And I'm going to, all right, it's done. Now I have it in my own server. So if I go here, I have it. And you can test this by adding a prompt. And I love it because it feels like you're coding something, but you're not, you're just prompting. So backslash. Imagine and that opens up the prompt. So you have to backslash imagine you type these in to enter the prompt. Whatever you do next, you need to describe. So what do we say? Porsche GT3 RS and maybe cyberpunk style just to test it out. And by default, I believe they use now version 4. I'm not sure if what is my default. We'll check it in a bit. But what you can do is add dash dash version 4 to ensure that you're running version 4. Let's do that. I need to accept terms of service. Yeah, it's quite rendering it. It's quite rendering it. That's cool. All right, it's done. Let's have a look. There you go. GT3 RS in cyberpunk stuff. How cool is that? Well, as you can see, I created several ones over here that are so gorgeous and awesome. And I'm going to show you how I created it. Let's go and select a couple of photos from my website and bring them back to the prompt. So we select this already. Um, maybe this one. Let's do, let's do this one. I will copy the image address and I'm going to Enable the prompt and I'm going to paste the URL and say in cyberpunk style and uh, ultra detail maybe ultra detailed ultra photo real ultra ultra photo real and instead of octane render we are going to use unreal engine 5 
all right so we can use the quality this will determine the quality you have the quality will be between um, 0.215 to 5 the higher the number of course the more details the quality you will get but sometimes it just ruins the image so I think just keeping it two at two will be just more than enough all right let's do that so while this is actually doing its thing I really think that you should visit this URL and have a look for inspiration but you can also I mean once you sign in you have to sign in you'll get um, you'll be able to actually copy the prompt for inspiration you can modify the prompt you can do whatever you want with it oh my god look at this these are so good remember whatever you're running right now is a trial version you will run out of credits so make sure you use them wisely and the other website is this one this is very interesting i really wanted to upload a portrait of mine and uh, you know see how that will look in Rick and Morty's uh, style. That would be interesting to see. Anyway, I'll post these links in the description below. Also, this article here just explains it very well. And um, yeah, I'll add a few more resources for your inspiration. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, look at this. Let's just have a look at it. All right, that looks great. Let's have a look what happens to this when we add the prompt we'll just copy the same prompt just gonna copy this and say imagine i'm gonna paste this here and say something wrong this line you know i like sunsets uh with sunset in the background and maybe I don't know if cyberpunk and sunset in the background would work, but let's try that. Let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. Yeah, let's have a look. I think they look okay, but I prefer the other look that we had, honestly. Like I said, I'm not sure when you combine cyberpunk style with a sunset in the background, it will look odd. So you need to be really careful with your prompt. Let's have a look at, before I enter the next prompt, Look at these, these look so good, so good. All right, let's go ahead and pick this one up. Copy image, all right, stop following me, great. Back in here, just going to say imagine. I'm gonna paste the link, yeah. We could have said in cyberpunk style, glow, let's just capitalize lo-fi I wouldn't say ultra photo real I'll say ultra detailed and I'm going to say real engine 5 I'm gonna, just gonna keep the quality as it is all right well this is doing its magic let me show you what I've previously created and this looks cool this is a synth wave one. You can see the prompt over here. It's almost similar to the previous one. This is also a cyberpunk with this prompt. Now maybe I have failed to explain what these buttons are for. We'll explain it once the prompt ends. But look at this. These are gorgeous shots. Purely AI. It's crazy. I mean, look at these reflections. You can see the car reflecting at the bottom. Where's the other one? There, have a look at this. Look at the reflection. This is AI doing it from a reference photo. It's crazy. All right, looks like this is gonna take time. Let's just explain what the boxes are all about. So, these are numbered one, two, three, four. The U stands for upscale. So if you want, you, you have four options by default. And if you want to upscale one of the options, you just select one of them just and upscale it. Now, if you like a specific one, but you want more variations, that's when you click the V button. So 
if you like v4 or the version 4 and you want several variations of it you just hit v4 and it will generate several variations all right now it is done let's have a look and voila look at this this is quite crazy scary at the same time i'm not sure about how i feel about it but <laughs> look at this this is quite a good mod look at this let's go back let's say okay i like this version and i want to upscale it just click this and yeah, it's going to bring an upscaled version of it now this app is very complex and you need to practice some prompting my prompts are really basic but it's just to show you guys how this works i mean you've seen some of the work that are out there it's just crazy what you can do when you have the perfect prompt anyway guys this is it if you have any questions please leave me a comment in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe as a member you get all the perks have a look at it i'll leave a link at the description below and i'll see you in the next video oh well since i've done with the video already let me show you this look at this ladies and gentlemen this is just crazy anyway we're, we're done with the video i'm not supposed even to be here talking to you guys i'll see you in the next video